Today we have Morgan Stokes, who is the cover artist of our next issue, the theme being archaeology. Um, Morgan also has some work inside um, the main signature art section. So we're going to just talk a bit about what the process was like um, discovering his work, how um, we chose specific pieces for the issue, and then also what it's like for Morgan to be part of a journal like Sand. So Morgan, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so could you just tell me like a little bit about um, your practice, just like a brief overview and like some of the specific works that we see in Sand, so the internet series and then obviously the pieces on the cover. Yeah, cool. Um, well, I'm uh, an oil painter from Sydney, Australia, and I spent 2019 in Berlin developing my practice. Um, what I'm trying to do is to understand how the digital world's impacting our perception of the real world. So how I've been exploring this lately is to combine sort of elements of the digital world, um, things that we like maybe aren't even realizing that we're seeing, which is just like UI elements um, that are integrated into the apps and constantly updated with these sort of age old techniques in oil painting. So I'm combining sort of traditional old master styles or sort of any style from art history really, because um, the way I see it, uh, the internet is just sort of this place where everything exists from the past up until now and it sort of represents the future as well. So it's just so much happening. There's all these images that we're seeing constantly. I guess I'm trying to um, understand uh, how that affects us sort of at a psycholog uh, psychological dimension. Yeah. Nice. And what did you think of the art scene here in Berlin when you were here and like working on your practice? And did you connect with like a big, like a big, 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 bleh. did you connect with a big community of artists here? And like, how was it? Um, I mean, obviously I like reached out to you with sand and stuff, but um, were you connecting with like other like writers, for example, because you know, sand is like primarily like a literary journal or was it more just like you and the arts community here? No, it was so good. It was actually just mind opening entirely. What I think is so special about Berlin is it is just a complete melting pot of all creatives from all over the world. And I think that really provides like a dynamism that you might not see in other cities because there's um, it's still affordable. There's like a thriving cultural scene. There's just so much happening. Um, and that's what I found really exciting and just mind opening and like uh, it's just so starkly different to, well, Sydney at least. Um, and so that's what I found exciting, just talking to artists. Everyone's, um, yeah, had a bunch of writer friends. Everyone was doing um, all these creative pursuits. And I think that's sort of um, complements whatever you're working on. So it's definitely, um, I think, a unique place to have these sort of exchanges that you wouldn't have anywhere else. Okay, great. Um, yeah, does that uh, the question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Um, so I'm going to just explain how I discovered you, which actually is completely like, it's not unknown and not abnormal for sand, but um, it's not the regular, way. like normally people will submit to us through submittable and they'll send like four or five pieces of work with like a short bio. And like, obviously I go through those and um, sometimes there's work that really stands out and sometimes, you know, I don't think it's like a high enough standard maybe for what we're trying to do with the journal moving forward. And so this time around specifically, I ended up soliciting like quite a lot of the artists, like a majority actually. And um, I heard about you through a mutual friend who was like, oh, you're looking for like cover art or oh, you're looking for someone to be in this issue. I have this painter friend um, and it was my old flatmate. And she was like, yeah, I went to his opening exhibition. Like he like makes this work. She shared your Instagram profile. And like, it was just crazy how well connected everyone is. Like she's like she's not an artist and she's not really in the creative scene at all but she was like oh like the show i went to and blah 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 and like just through word of mouth like that you just really discover new people i mean how is it for you when i reached out to you like did you know about sand were you like aware of the journal itself I, um, the legitimacy is, it was such an exciting opportunity for me um, because uh, like I was really uh, still developing my practice and so being in a, a publication like Sand uh, just seemed uh, so exciting and sort of yeah unbelievable <laughs> so um, yeah I mean it was yeah very exciting for me uh, yeah. I think like one of the advantages maybe of being in a journal like Sand is that 
it opens up your work for like a whole host of other creatives too. Like I think globally as well, because like, you know, we really get people submitting from like all around the world, like in this like standard of like the writers, the poets, like nonfiction writers, like we have a really like vast spread of art as well in each issue. So it's great sometimes as well, like as an artist to see your work alongside other practices like that. And I think that as a journal, we're like growing and expanding, like not just like team member wise, but also just in terms of like the type of work that we showcase and direction that we're heading in. It's really exciting. So I think it's a great publication to be involved with in that way because it's just it's always evolving and adapting. So, I mean, it's super exciting for me as well because I haven't, because I've been art editing in Sand now for like almost three years. And um, as far as I can remember, and as far as like I've seen in some of the issues, it's been a while since we've had a painter as well be the cover and like have, right. yeah, yeah. I'm normally like, I've been trying to head in directions looking of like, sculptural work or installation stuff and then like when I come across really good painting it's just like really hard not to include it you know what I mean like it's just we go in like these certain directions but of course like when it comes down to the kind of work that we put in it's very much like if there's a really strong kind of I don't know theme or concept which for you actually really kind of overlapped with like when we say like this theme of this issue is archaeology it's like I hadn't really seen painting like yours before there was like a bit of a mystery around it and this whole idea of like you take these fragments of like these strangers faces and create like a narrative or a story. It's like building these layers kind of fit in with the whole theme of the issue so well. And I think for the cover, it's just worked out really well. So we're all really excited about it. That's awesome. That's so good to hear. I, I love thinking about it from this archeological perspective too, because that um, sort of adds this layer of meaning that maybe I wasn't intended, but once you look yeah. at it, I can completely see yeah. that connection. So yeah. yeah. So good. Have you ever? Been <laughs> and I'm complete, I'm so chuffed to be the um, cover artist too, especially for this issue. Uh, yeah, so. and this one, yeah, this one's a big one. It's the ten year anniversary, and like, it's obviously a bigger issue. We're bringing in anthology art from past issues, so like, it's a, it's come together really well. The design's like great, and I think everyone was just they, they saw your work in like one of our meetings. They were like, yeah, this is the one. This is it, and I was like, <laughs> yes. You, I love it. <laughs> So, um, have you ever been in a journal like Sand before? Or is this like the first time that your work's been like in a publication that's kind of more focused on, I suppose, writing at the moment, but we are shifting more towards art, but like has that been something you've done before? Uh, yeah, no, this is the first journal, yeah, that I've been in. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's so exciting because I've sort of only started properly developing or like focusing on my art full time at the beginning of last year. And so, to have um, a journal like Sand recognize my work um, is just like so exciting for me. It's just, it validates everything that I've been doing because you have a lot of, um, um, you know, apprehensions about pursuing it. Um, it seems like it might not be a good thing to do or people aren't gonna understand what you're getting at, but to have, um, yes, Sand validate my work like that is just huge and so exciting. So, um, yeah. Great, I mean, that's great music to my ears and are you happy with how it worked out like did you think the process was kind of smooth the way that we were like talking and like figuring out whatever like it was all it was all fine for you nice and uh, it was so straightforward it was so easy uh, it was a dream <laughs> and now that this has happened now that you've been in a journal like sand would you think you'd be open to being published in a journal like this again like that kind of being in like a mix of like writing and poetry and art and photography like bringing all that kind of together you'd be open to something like that uh, well, w my concern with how we're processing images, this is like generally, is that uh, we're just bombarded constantly with images on yeah, social media or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I think that's definitely problematic for art when you're trying to imbue all these ideas into like these little images. Yeah. Um, it sort of just glosses over or what you're trying to achieve. So something like sand actually gives the space and it considered time for people to um process you know mm -hmm. these ideas you're trying to convey so i think it's a very interesting avenue and i want to definitely be more because it's um this curation which combines you not only with other artists like a group show might it yeah. also combines you with writers and poets and all these yeah. other creative types so yeah great well, thank you, Morgan, for taking the time to chat to us. Um, we're really excited about you being involved. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll all keep in touch and work together in the future at some point. <laughs> Thanks for including me. It's yeah, a real honor. And yeah, good to chat to you. Big love, big love from Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. wish I was there. Devastated, like, there's no launch this year. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah.
That's what we'll have to do.